Once again, I'm in North Conway, New Hampshire, and this time I'm looking for burgers, but not just any burgers. I'm looking for real delicious, fresh burgers. That great New England, fresh veggies, all that good stuff. In fact, if you're in New England, you want it to be wicked fresh. All right, so I got a ton of burgers here. I'm really excited. So let's start with burger number one. This is the Wicked Burger. So the Wicked Burger is kind of like the flagship burger here. It's an American cheese, lettuce, tomato, onions, and a, what they call Wicked Sauce. Here we go. Oh man. So what all the burgers here are, are what's called smash burgers. So it's a thin patty and they smash it down. So typically they tell you, don't smash your burger, it gets all the juice out. But that's only if you have a thick patty. When you have a thin patty such as this, all it really does is make the burger cook faster. Mm. And that wicked sauce gives it a great little tanginess to it. The beef of this patty is so good. It's seasoned perfectly which is always a big thing with the burger, is you want to make sure you have great seasoning. Another big thing about the Smash Burger is, of course, you got these nice, crispy edges here. That's just a complete burger there. So this next one is called the Mountain Man Burger. So it comes with two Smash Burgers, American cheese, bacon, lettuce, tomato, and a nice fried egg on top, and then of course that same wicked sauce. I don't think it's possible to eat this one without making a mess, but I'm gonna try. Look at this gargantuan monster. Oh, there goes the yolk. Oh, come on, like that. That just looks fantastic, look at that yolk. Oozing, oozing down there. Here we go. Oh yeah, it's a total mess, but it's so good. You got that yolk is still runny in the middle there. As I said, total messy burger. But personally, I think it just means it's great. So what I'm gonna try to do, try to contain this as much as possible. I'm gonna put some napkins around it here. I'm going to try to push the burger up here. Here we go. That bacon as well. It's so crispy. And those nice burnt edges of the burger. Burnt edges of the burger. Burnt edges of the bacon. And these tomatoes have to have been chopped or uh, sliced up today. Ooh. Make sure you have yourself a lot of napkins when you're having this one. Look, don't let anyone tell you that burger shouldn't be messy. Messy burger should be a prerequisite. You should have to eat it wrapped up in paper or make your hands completely messy. Burger eat in less than time. Yeah, and I have elbows on the table and the burger out in front of you, leaning out like this. That way, when all the good deliciousness runs out of it, you're not getting anything on you. Important fact. Now these are the hand cut fries that they sell here. And they, you can tell they're definitely hand cut. Every little imperfection about them. Like, 
What do you want out of a french fry? You want it to be crispy? You want it to be salty? And that's what these are. All right, this next one is actually a specialty burger. It's not something you can get all the time. They call these, these are their speakeasy burgers, which basically means they have a burger of the week as a specialty one. And this one that they have here, this is a fennel crusted beef patty with mozzarella cheese, fresh basil, tomatoes, garlic, mayo, and balsamic glaze. Another probably gonna be messy burger. You can see the balsamic glaze coming off on there. There's that garlic mayo. Fennel crusted, so here we go. Oh man. I love mozzarella cheese. And that is a great addition to this. The balsamic glaze tends to give it a, a little bit of a tartness to it. But then that garlic mayo brings it back and makes it savory again. I mean, just look at that. Anything more you want out of a specialty burger. So as I said, every week, they call it their speakeasy burger. It's always something new, different, experimental. And I think this one is a pretty great home run. You're gonna need a lot of napkins to eat here, but don't worry, they supply plenty. All right, that was friggin' delicious and great, but I don't know, I feel like I need something else. Something to kinda round off this perfect burger delicious greasy meal. Maybe something sweet. So as I said, something sweet. They also do these awesome milkshakes. And this is a hot fudge <laughs> milkshake, which I am so excited for. It actually looks like they blended it pretty good, so you can't really tell looking into it. They got the hot fudge in there, but when you taste it, like a hot fudge sundae milkshake. This is the only way to finish off a delicious meal of burgers in the nice hot summer day. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like. Leave a comment if you have any questions. I'm actually gonna have a series of videos coming up real soon. I'm doing a trip abroad, so look forward to those. Make sure you subscribe so you can get the updates of when those videos are up. I'm gonna finish this off, and then probably go home and take a nap. I will see you in the next video.